is Kine Master. This is what you use to edit videos. So this is how the interface looks. It's a simple and easy to use application when you're editing on mobile. So once you're here, you might want to like start importing your, your videos. So you just click on media and then you now select the video that you want to import. So to import, you just like tap on the video that you want to work on. So like that one, you already have it there. If you have more than one videos, you can add another video on top. Then you, so this is how the timeline looks like. So usually after importing your videos, you don't to like um, listen to everything you have. If it's the correct video you have and if there's any problem with it. So you just play and you have it that way and to the end. So there are a few things that you can do with these videos. You could add a layer on top or something like that. So for instance, you can add, so you click on layer and you go to media. Then you can import another video to have it play on top of this. So because this new video might have sound that may interrupt your main video, so you go to your volume button and reduce it to zero. Then you come back and now you want to play with how it appears on screen. So uh, you tap on your the, high, the, the overlay now that you brought in. Then you click on that icon there to decide on how you want to place this video on the screen. You can have it. You can have the video on one side, and you can actually adjust that to how it can appear. You can have it cover the whole screen so that you have um, while you play. We have that. Then we have a look at more action. And then we see that that way. And then again, you can add text to your video. So you click on layer, click on text, and write whatever text you want to add in there it you can drag to play the size on of how it appears on screen Drag it down there you can change the font to whatever you want for instance roboto medium bold italic uh, you can change the color of the text say to some shade of blue then you can add some background to that text and decide for instance that it comes on a white background but there's just more to it than just that you can edit how you want that text to get into your screen so for instance in this there are many options but i will select uh, later by later so that we can see mobile jazz coming in and we can reduce the speed with which those letters are flowing into the screen like that and then again we can change the out animation i want it to like slide up or slide down like that and then yes so that if you come and play you can see that mobile zones in play in there and then the text plays that way and uh, that uh, remember these are just some of the basics that you can apply on any video that you edit of whatever length uh, and then again, another thing is if you do not want this bit of the video, for instance, so you highlight on that, click on the scissor sign, which means now it gives you the ability to cut out what you do not need. So you click on that, so it has different options. You can trim to the left and play ahead, meaning you'll reduce, you remove all this part and play only the remaining part from where the this line is, or you can split to mean make two videos out of this one. So in this sense let us trim to the right so it reduces the, the video and we accept all those changes uh, that's where we go and yeah so you have your music playing in the background you have text you put in some transitions and you can still add a lot more you can still highlight the video and go to uh, the color adjustment if you want to improve the color quality on your video, you can uh, increase the display with what you see there. This is the saturation and then there's contrast. So you do not want to overblow what you see on the screen. Um, yeah. And then you have that. So in changing that color adjustment, you might want to do that in all, your, in all the clips that you have so that it looks uniform.
Yeah, avoid using filters because now it will deceive you, thinking that uh, maybe it looks good. So just go to manual adjustment like I did. So after you're done with all your video, uh, before that, eh, you can actually do a voiceover. You can add a voiceover on what the video is about. For instance, click on voice. So you see, you can see the different recording levels. Eh? So you can just click start and see what you want to say. It will add automatically. It will bring a layer down there, like the audio layer. Then you can edit it depending on where you want it to uh, be. Then after you're done with all this, you can now go back and then click on the video you wanted to make and click on the share button and then depending on now the space that you have on your phone you can play with either how you want to export it so you would want to export it in 4k for instance uh, full HD or HD just 720 SD or the lowest is 360 frames per second so for my case I can do just HD no full HD and then export um, all right then export your project and then you'll be now able to view from there your complete video so it's an easy to use app very simple interface for you and in a very short while you'll be done with your video so this is the final product there you go so that's the video you can now share from there to your social media platforms